Hello, I'm David Foster from St Peter's Church, Elworth. Today I'd like to think about the question, why are we, have we been having this dreadful pandemic? Various suggestions have been made, some of them a bit way out. Some say that it's God's judgment on a sinful and rebellious generation. Some say it's a sign of the times leading to the end of the world. Others say God has allowed it to happen so that more and more people may think about him at this time and turn to him. Yet others, the likes of Stephen Fry, shake their fist at God and say, Why would a loving God allow all this to happen? As much as to say, we could have organised things better if we'd been in charge. Whatever the truth of the matter, it's really perplexing for many Christian believers. But we must ask, what does the Bible say about suffering? Well, take the book of Job. We're told that Job was an upright and God-fearing man. He was also a very rich man, the greatest in all the East. Yet in the course of a few hours, he lost his children, his servants, and all his livestock. And Job himself was afflicted with painful sores. So why did all this happen? Three of Job's friends, the so-called Job's comforters, told him it was basically because he had sinned against God. A fourth friend, Elihu, said no, it wasn't because Job had sinned, but that it was a form of discipline from God. And although towards the end of the book, Job's fortunes were largely restored, there's no clear answer to the question, why did he suffer? And it seems to me that there's no clear answer either to the question, why is the world suffering from this terrible pandemic today? But we can note two encouraging things from the scripture. Firstly, Deuteronomy 29 verse 29 says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we may follow or do all the words of this law. So maybe God has not revealed the reason for suffering in the world, but there is plenty for us to be doing in the meantime. How often have we heard people saying recently, oh, we'll, well, we must just get on with it. And how wonderfully thousands of people working in the NHS have been doing just that. And then there is the bottom line. In Genesis chapter 18, Abraham is reflecting on God's judgment on Sodom and Gomorrah, and he concludes, Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? That's Genesis 18.25. And surely we must conclude that whatever the circumstances, God cannot be in the wrong.